Michael Phelps' weird to-do list, why Mark Cuban still does his laundry, and Sam's magic oven of time tools. More on these later, but first, make yourself comfortable for the next 10 minutes and watch this video to the end. Because if you don't understand the lessons in this video, then you'll go back to work tomorrow and waste hours of your time without even realizing it. So let's get started. The first is procrastination is not about laziness. It's about pain and pleasure. If something is easier or more fun than what you are meant to do, then you'll continue doing it. Video games hijack your dopamine and are engineered to reward you every second. Your work projects may only give you a reward after a week or months of work. So eliminate anything that gives you quick dopamine hits from your environment. That means video games, junk food, social media, cat videos. Number two, plan tomorrow today. I've been implementing this with great success since Sam Ovens shared it. It puts your mind at ease before going to sleep. You wake up feeling more refreshed and you won't have to decide what to do in the morning. Consider using T-Metric to plan your day. T-Metric is a simple and accurate work time tracker for your business with over 64,000 users. Seamless integration with your favorite apps, measure the profitability of your projects, track the time of your remote and on-site employees, invoice your customers promptly, all in one app. Click the link in the description below to get started for free. Michael Phelps' weird to-do list. Number one, wake up. Number two, get in the pool. That's it. What a great use of energy. Speaking of energy, let's talk about it. Energy is everything. Ask yourself this. Does it help you to have more time if you have no energy? Of course not. So energy matters. Listen to this mind-blowingly simple lesson from Sam Ovens, which explains why Phelps' to-do list works. I mean, if you have nine inches of energy to give and you put it into nine different things, you're going to make one inch of progress in each thing. But if you put nine inches of energy into one thing, you're going to make nine inches of progress. It is just as plain and as simple as that. Energy starts with health, and health starts with good food, regular exercise, hydration, and quality sleep. Speaking of sleep, it's been becoming more popular in the business world since the release of Ariana Huffington's book, The Sleep Revolution. Sleep is a massively underrated contributor to your health and performance. And so then on sleep, I get eight hours of sleep, I prioritize it, unless I'm traveling in different time zones, sometimes it's impossible, but I am very um, focused on it, and, and, and the, for me, I need eight hours of sleep. I think better, I have more energy, my mood is better, all these things. Better sleep equals more energy. More energy creates more quality time and therefore more productive output. Next lesson, Mark Cuban still does his laundry. Now I know what you're asking. Doing laundry is a low value task, so why the heck would Cuban not hire a housekeeper to do it for him? Well, because in Cuban's own words, parenting is my first value and I don't want a non-family member living in my house. I do it consciously, knowing that it's costing me potential income and career advancement. Let's talk about social media now. You know what I'm about to say. But really, it's not uncommon for the average person to spend at least three hours a day on their phone. If your aim is productivity, then social media on your phone altogether must be out of sight during your workday. And if you are sitting there saying you need your phone for work, think again. Never take meetings unless someone is writing a check. That's what Mark Cuban says. Dustin Moskovitz has no meeting Wednesdays. Richard Branson does stand-up meetings. A study by psychologists showed that sit-down meetings were 34% longer than stand-up meetings, but they produced no better decisions than stand-up meetings. Trash, transfer, trim. Evaluate all regular tasks you do. If it's not important, trash it. If it's important but taking much of your personal time, transfer it to someone else. Otherwise, trim the task by finding a more efficient way to do it. Okay, back to Sam Oven's magical toolkit of time tools. Death by 1000 cuts. And it's not the music video. It's really a big event that will take your time away. It's the small things that pile up, and it goes deeper. Listen to Oven's important explanation on why randomly choosing what to eat each day is a bigger waste of time than you realize. If you have to think about it, it's using mental bandwidth. And that means that when you come back from lunch, you know, you've got less mental bandwidth to commit to, to your work. And so it's draining that. 
And more than that, if you've got these small things that pop up during the day, it doesn't matter if it just takes one minute to go and get like a charger and then come back. It, if, if you're in the middle of some task where you were deep in the zone and, and focused and concentrated on something, then it doesn't matter if the thing only takes one minute to do, it's gonna take you half an hour to get back into that same state of mind and into that same depth of zone that you were in. One of the biggest things that I see that is just so tragic for most people is you know just food and eating and to you know to, to think about what am I gonna have for breakfast and then have to go out and get that and then to think oh where am I gonna get a coffee to have to look that up and then go and get a coffee and then maybe wait in line or whatever and then you know to, to think about what am I gonna have for lunch going out and getting lunch probably waiting in line again coming home eating it and then dinner it happens all over again and food is one of the biggest like things that crushes productivity it's because you know we need to eat like constantly throughout the day we need to have like breakfast lunch and then dinner right and that's three things that happen every single day and if every single time one of these things you know you need a meal you have to think what am i going to have to eat and then go out and get something and then bring it back and then eat it like before you know it you've got no time left in the day in summary you learned that procrastination is not about laziness you learned to plan tomorrow today. You learned about Michael Phelps' ridiculously simple to-do list and why it works. Energy is everything. Get high quality sleep. You know why Mark Cuban still does his laundry. Social media is the devil. Never take meetings unless someone is writing a check. Trash transfer trim. And death by 1000 cuts. <laughs>